All right, boys, I measured, uh, this is the speaker. Give me the same thing. This is for the fan. I mark it. I'm gonna drill it down. I'll be back. All right, guys, not bad. Pretty neat. Here's the top, six and a half inch. That's gonna be the fan, two fans. Coming along, getting there. All right, guys, this is the back panel. This is the um, fan. I marked it, I measured it to be exact the same length. But be, guys, be careful. When you do this, you need two people. I'll tell you why. You want to hold it steady so you can drill that because if you do this with one hand, you're gonna twist your wrist because this is very strong. Once you get into that groove, once you get uh, a line and locked in, it's gonna cut and your wrist is gonna twist. So I write your whole two hand on the, on the DeWalt. So um, yes, that's my advice. Have somebody hold this, cause I'm holding one hand with this and my right hand is drilling this. So you need two hand on the drill, on the drill. You gotta be careful, guys. You're gonna twist your, your wrist. You're gonna injure yourself. All right, all done. Quick updates. I'm gonna use the drill mill. I'm gonna sand this edge right here, smoothen it out. And that's it. I'll be back. Welcome back. I'm gonna attempt to put this here. A little gap. Has, you know, you notice the old one, it has a little, little gap here for the, um, the back panel to snug fit right in. So it won't slide. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in between, two of these. So I'll put it in between. So I'll put it in between here. So the back panel won't slide right out. You guys get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna measure this. I'll be back. I need two pieces of these. All right, guys. I'm using a black marker so I can blend it in. Permanent, sharpie, thin size. You can get anywhere. Easy, simple. I ordered this 7D vinyl from um, eBay. Thanks to my boy Kwok Lee. Carbon fiber vinyl. See that? I'm gonna do this on the top and the back. I'll be back. All right, boys, all done. The small one I did earlier, without the wet method, I was struggling. So I highly recommend wet method. I did this with ease, no problem. The other one I gotta peel it out. It's still a little bit bubble. This is this is way better. Wet method, trust me, guys. Wet method all the way. I'll be back. All right, guys. I did this little gap here for this backboard to stay in place. I uh, marker this black to stay outside. Not bad. So it won't slide. It's good. I take it. Looks clean. I'm not gonna paint this black because for what? It's gonna be inside. All right. All right, boys and girls. Check it out. Got my four inch speaker. All the buttons. Are all done? Six and a half inch speaker. This is gonna be a fan. Thanks to my boy Kwok Lee. 7D, 7D vinyl. Very nice. Another fan. PC going in. Custom riser. Coming along. Very nice. Kwok Lee, thank you very much. For the link, this is very cheap. Probably $7 for all this. I still got leftover on eBay. Not bad, coming along. All right guys, plexiglass, picked it from Lowe's. About $22, $23 tax, about $24. Not bad, they cut it for me. 
Here it is. Looks perfect. Exactly. 15 by 49 inch. I'm going to drill holes. I'm going to take my time on this. I'm going to use a Dremel. I'm going to clamp this down to tighten it up. I bought the clamps. I'll show you guys some more updates. I'm gonna, this is going to be tough, guys. Lots of holes. Lots of holes. All right. All right, guys. I clamped this down for stable. So it will move. I need to um, sand this down a little more for perfection. I'm going to cut this line right here. I'll make it a nice around edge. It's going to be easy on the side, but right here, all this. Boy, I'm going to take my time. Probably two days work. I'll be back. All right, quick updates. I just sanded it down. Nice smooth edge to match it up. See that? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. See how pointy it is? I'm gonna round it out. So just take your time, nice and slow. I'm gonna round it out to match it up. See that? To match it up. I'll be back. All right, another quick update. I'm gonna do this wood slash plastic cutter. They sell them everywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. See that? Coming along. I left a little tiny gap. I'm gonna shave it off to be perfect. See that? Okay, right back. Check it out, not bad, huh? Look at this. See this side? See the difference? Coming along. Nice, round. The other side too, not bad. Looks professionally done. All right, guys. I drill a tiny hole for leverage. I use any drill bits, small one. Now I'm gonna use this to wind it out, taking my time. I'm not gonna show the video, do the rest. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll be back when it's finished. It's gonna take a while though. All right, another quick update. I just sand this down. See that? Right here. All right, that's it. I'll be back. All right, guys, I just tested it. I got a spare plexiglass. Took it home from Lowe's. I tried it. No cracks with this. I'm going to go inside and do the real thing. I'll be back. Hopefully it doesn't crack inside. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. All right, boys and girls, quick update. It's a success. Not bad. Time for me to grind this. I mean, shave this, even it out. All right, good news. All right, guys, quick update. Not bad, I take it. It's not perfect, but near perfect. 99.9999, homemade. That's right. Like a mother to die for. All right, guys. I'll make the bottom cover. I got this at Lowe's. Six dollars something, or seven dollars tax about seven bucks, almost seven bucks. It's forty nine inch long. I'm gonna cover up to right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide it from the inside. I'm gonna put a little piece of wood right here for as a holder. I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna blend it right in. I don't wanna put it up here because I don't want it to look too thick. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all depend. Let me see. I have to look at it and analyze it. I'll be back. Hey guys, I line it up. I'm gonna cut this, make the cover. That's it. I'll be back. All right, guys, check it out. Bottom lip cover. I'll put a piece of wood right here. I'm gonna measure it. Line it perfectly. All right? So you stay blending right in. Stay blend right there. See that? I'll be back. I might have to glue this. 
I'm put Velcro on this. I was thought of, I thought about doing a little hole before I can lift it up, but I noticed there's an open gap right here. See that? I can just pull it right out just in case I need to get access. All right. Check it out. Luckily, I saved this. I'm gonna use this as a gap. I'm gonna glue really glue this to the perfect thickness of this, so I can perfectly flush. I'll be back. Update. I put this here as a sample to add the thickness. So I do the measurements right there. You see that? That's why I did. That's how I measure it. I draw a pencil with a line. See that? So this is the Velcro. That's the Velcro right there. Two piece. That's a thin one. Boom. Done. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. Laying it dry. Once it's on, it's on. Ain't coming back out. All this clamp, I got it at um, Lowe's, right here. It's a bundle, bundle deal. A whole bag of these, right here. $13, cheap, all size, very strong. Hold it all, not bad. Coming along, a lot of work, but well worth it. All right guys, quick updates. I use a black permanent marker. I'm blending this right in. How it fits perfectly. See that? Perfect. Let's see the look. Velcro. Easy access. So in case you want to do something to it. I also install fan as usual. But more to come. Coming along. Looks pretty good. All right, guys, quick update. I ran into a little problem. I need this little gap here to get access through here. You see that? So I'm gonna cut that little piece. Should be no problem. Should be easy. I line it up. I'll be back. All right, guys, quick update. All done, hopefully it fits. I made a little gap. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna mark it black. All right, guys, I ran into another problem. Everything's perfect, but the J panel is hitting here. So I had to cut this part out in order to J panel to access through this. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got spare wood from the, I bought from Home Depot, all this for $20. Uh, I'm gonna measure this, make a shelf up here. That's the shelf, see that? Do the measurement, I'm gonna cut it out. I'll be back. All right guys, the shelf is on. Looks nice, I take it. Not bad, pretty neat, look good. Put a PC up here, and do a little hole, have some airflow. Good to go. All right guys, I saved all my leftover artwork. I just save them, this is spare. I'm gonna put it up here. So I can smooth it out, so it looks cleaner. I'll be back. All right guys, here's my leftover vinyl. I did straighten as I can, but not bad. It's good, I take it. You know, I don't waste any of my vinyl from previous artwork. I save them. I use them as tape or whatever you want. It's good. Quick updates. I'm gonna do a black marker on this. Blend it in, black, right in the corner, right here. So I can blend right in. So it won't show any of this uh, brown wood. I'll be back. All right guys, I got the amp, Bluetooth with uh, USB and SD slot, all in one. Four channel, 400 watts, 
I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna test it first before I start anything. You must test everything first. I'll be back. All right, next up, I'll show you a tutorial how to mount this in the front. The clean, easy way. I unscrew this, this screw right here. I pull the, the knob out. I'm gonna unscrew for this. I'm gonna do it exactly like this. Right, but I'm going to center it first and draw it out. I'll be back. All right, guys, what I did, I took the heat gun, I melt the glue, I peeled this plastic off, so I have access for the hole. Now, I want to mount it here. I'm going to use a Dremel. A Dremel. I'm going to draw all the holes that, that I need it. Okay, I'll be back. All right. I screw it in so that it won't move around. Now I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna take a drill bit, measure and drill the hole through it, and I'm sanding down for smoothness. All this hole, all this I needs to be. Okay, it should be easy. I'll be back. Dremel and drill bits. That's all you need. And little sanding for smoothing it out. Alright guys, I'm gonna drill a hole. One, two, three, four more, seven hole. I'm just gonna sand it down with my Dremel, smoothly it out to even out the hole. And I'll cut this little part here, smoothly it out. I'll be back. Okay, I'll drill. Now this is a little difficult, a little weird. I'm gonna use a router, adapter. I'm gonna grind it down, I'm gonna grind it down. Cut it with a router. All right, I'll be back. All right, quick updates. Not bad. This little one here, see that? And all the little corner edges. I just changed the bits, smaller, easier access. See it? So I can grind it, route it for perfection. I'll be back. It's all done. All right, it's all done. Let's put this. See if it fits perfectly. Look at that, boys. See that? Yeah. Not bad. I take that. Pretty good. See that? I'll be back. All right, guys. Quick update. This little knob here, I have to sand it down for it to fit snug to fit. To turn it, I'll show you the difference. Let me take it out. Here's the original. It has a little lips right here. Here's the one I sanded. See that? You have to do it all the way, you're gonna do that. Because the, um, the wood is in between, it's a little thickness. So you have to sand it down about right there. There's a difference. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see a better angle. See the difference? The left is the left is sand, the right is the original. I'm gonna do the rest. I use the sander. Well, it's pretty easy, not that hard. Alright guys, here's the result. Perfect, nice and snug. All sand down. Now on the back. Then you guys see the back. Okay. I don't really need this, but I'm gonna do it just in case. I'm gonna build a piece of wood, a little mount, like this height, blend it right in. Okay? I'll be back for support. Okay, I measure it, 18 inches wide, spare wood. I cut it slant it in an angle, see that? Okay, I wanna um, use a uh, permanent marker, blank this out. Let's see how this looks. Look at that, it's a little too high. See that? It's a little too high. So I'm just gonna cut it thinner a little bit. 
Okay, I'll be back. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Okay, not bad. Little support, little angle. I take it, pretty good. All right, here's the final result. Not bad. See that? Little mount, the extra support, but you know, just in case. Now uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing as this one. Same tutorial. This is a bit harder. Not, not enough gap for me to hide the um, LED lights. So I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'll be back. All right, figure it out. Here it is. I just wish this came in black, like my previous one, but I don't have a choice, but it's white. All right, let me put the grill on and see how it looks like. Boy, I just wish it was black, but you know, at night, when the lights goes on, you probably can't see it, but during the day, yeah, in the dark, when the lights up, not bad, I take it, better than nothing. All right, guys, today, I'm gonna do a little touch up. Sand it right here, Ryobi. I just sand a little bit, I'm gonna do it to blend it right in. There's a little gap sticking out to make it perfection. It's really perfect here. After that, I'm gonna show you how to um, polish it, buff it. So it'll be like a glass, see-through, clear. More lightings will more effects. I'll be back. In time, using a Dremel. I got this little plastic, uh, this little clay to polish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin it, put the polish in, let it sucked in, and then uh, polish the side to shine it up, to make it clear. Here's the foggy part. I'll come back with the clear part, with the results. It's my first attempt. I'll be back.